Hey y'all, it's Jennifer. Happy Monday. Might want to get your tissues out this week because we're going to talk about kind of a sensitive subject and that is dealing with rejection. You know, depending on what career you had maybe before real estate, I was a teacher, not a lot of rejection in teaching, but you get into sales and man, rejection is part of the gig. If you are asking for business, for business from all these people, the odds, I mean, just statistically, you are going to get told no, you're going to get rejected. And I think deep down inside, we're still all kind of that, you know, six year old kid that got picked last for the softball team, or maybe the girl that didn't get asked to the homecoming dance or the boy that got up the nerve to ask out the girl whose dreams and got told no. Like, I mean, rejection stings and it doesn't matter how old you get. Nobody likes it. But I would see newer agents sometimes really struggle with this and they would take it personally. They would get upset and kind of wallow in it for a few days. And I'm going to give you some tips to try to help you just deal with it. It's going to happen. So you just need to learn how to deal with it when it does. The first one is don't take things personally. That's the biggest one. This is a business transaction. You've got to step away and be able to remove yourself from it a little bit. And I mean, have you ever hung up on a telemarketer? Because I have. I try not to now that I have to make phone calls, but you know, you hanging up in that telemarketer didn't have anything to do with the person on the other end of that line. It was just, you didn't want to take a, a telemarketing call right then and you took the quickest exit out, which was to hang up. So don't, people are not most of the time making decisions based on you. They're making decisions based on them. And you never know, if somebody's rude to you on the phone, they could have just gotten chewed out by their boss. You know, maybe they just got to a huge fight with their spouse and now they're not even sure they want to move. You have no idea what's going on in their lives. And 98% of the time, it is possible for you to screw up, but most of the time, it's because of what's going on in their life, not because of anything you said or did or didn't do. So learn how to not take things personally. It's just part of the job. The second one that also kind of ties into that is remember, and I've said this before, people will do what is in their own best interest. They don't care about your commission. They don't care about you putting food on the table for your kids. They are trying to think of what's best for them. And you know what? You do it too. So you can't be mad at them. But if they maybe go to a builder and the builder says, oh, well, yeah, if you don't use an agent, we'll give you $10,000 off. They're going to not use an agent, you know, because they think that's in their best interest. They're not always right. You know, sometimes they choose things that are wrong. They're just because they don't know what they don't know. They make decisions based on the information that they have and they, what they think will benefit them the most. And so if that means sometimes you might get cut out of a deal, again, don't take it personally. It's because they were doing what they thought was best for them. And so you just need to try to be as good as you can at educating people so they understand your value and why they need you there. And then the third one is don't let it ruin your day. You know, one rude client losing a listing, you know, if you let that weigh you down and you beat yourself up over it and it just, and maybe you're not productive for the next three days because you're just so upset about this one deal, that's three days that you could have been out there finding new business and talking to new clients. Don't let them ruin your day. Like I said, if you're not taking it personally, if you understand why they made that decision, even if it wasn't the right decision, then it won't ruin your day. You'll be able to just say, okay, well, that sucks, but I'm going to keep on going. I always say, remember this, you chose this job. Your success is up to you. Do not give someone else the power to, to keep you from being successful, to knock you down and you don't get back up. It's up to you to keep powering through and just know that every agent in this town has to deal with rejection. There is nobody that gets every single deal, every single listing, every day of every year. We all deal with it in some way. So the quicker you can learn to manage it, um, more you can back away from it and just say, okay, yep, on to the next and get going, then the better off you'll be. So if you do get knocked down this week, pick yourself back up, dust yourself off and keep moving on to the next one because that next yes is just around the corner, I promise. Hope y'all have a great week. I'll see you next Monday.